from Shahan. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Hi. Hi. Yeah, exactly. Is your name Shahan? Shaheen. Shaheen. Lovely to meet you. I'm yeah. Carlita Shaheen. Sorry about the delay, but I was with another student and just finishing off giving them feedback. Uh, so can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you clearly. A little bit of okay. uh, sound disturbance is there due to uh, internet connection, I think. Okay, uh, so uh, whereabouts are you, Shaheen? And are you looking to practice general English or IELTS uh, practice test? I'm from India. Okay. And uh, I want to learn um, accent. Oh, oh, are you the person that emailed me about this? Yeah. Ah, oh, I yeah. see. Okay. Um, so I think, uh, well, what we can do, as I said before, is the daily news. Um, so uh, we go through a news article and uh, okay. you can, you, I'll show you how it works, but can I just ask you, first of all, a few things about you? Um, whereabouts are you living and why do you want to perfect your accent? Uh, I think uh, I'm an Indian. Our, our grammar and other things are good, but our pronunciations are not so good. I realize that I realize that my own pronunciation are not that good. Actually, I don't want British accent. I just want neutral accent. Yes, so, of course. You don't, you don't need to sound like Prince Charles. Nobody does. But you can. You just want to speak clearly. Mm. You sound actually, a lot, to me, you sound a lot clearer than some of my IELTS students. I mean, um, I have one IELTS student who is from uh, uh, India and I sometimes find it really hard to follow all of the words he says because he's got a quite a thick accent, but I don't know which part of India he's in. I have, you know, hundreds of Indian people and a lot of them have very different accents, just like in England, you know, we've got lots of different accents all over the UK and some of the British you can understand more clearly than the others. Um, it's the same, I think, in any country. Uh, so um, um, most of people from India, I really think, speak very clearly and good English. But and and it's not often I get a student like I was telling you, my one of my IELTS students currently, who I find it a little bit hard that I have to really, really focus. Um, okay. So your accent is quite nice and very clear so far so uh, so good um so what okay. we can <laughs> i'm from london my accent originally from britain although i haven't lived in england for about 15 16 years i've lived uh, all, all over central and south america i've lived in a lot of very very poor countries over the last 16 years uh, because of my non-profit work um, working in uh, the Amazon River. What we can do is we can go uh, to the Engu Daily News, oh. right? Um, I'd, I'd like you to choose an article, take a minute to choose an article, tell me which one you want and then uh, we will go through it. First of all, uh, I want to um, uh, just check the vocabulary. There's like a vocabulary list at the beginning. We can go through that together. And then after that, we'll, I will read yeah. the article. Here is some advice on how to get more followers. Use the right hashtags. On most social media sites, when someone clicks a hashtag on a post, they can see the same hashtag used on other posts. Social media company Hootsuite suggests using around 11 tags on each post. You can use location hashtags like that Instagram account that posted at least once a day tailwind, got more likes and increased their followers, no, follower numbers faster than 
other posting less often make sure your post includes good pictures and videos and you should consider sharing live videos as more research has found people spend a longer time watching them watching them accounts um yeah accounts. so can you say account 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 yeah account it's a stress on Ow. second syllable Ow. right yeah so more like emphasis <laughs> yes account <laughs> accounts it's yeah it's more yeah account so account yeah, yeah. yeah. and then often if we don't really have to pronounce the I cheese so often. much but it, some people say often often or often it's up to you which way you you use it we've got the best english okay. pronunciation podcast uh so i'm gonna send you those you know everyone has their own methods so it really does depend on what works for you um so you've got these different Luke's. I've I've been recommended Luke's English podcast before, um, but I don't know if he focuses on pronunciation. You've got English pronunciation pod. Uh, that might be useful, and uh, there's a whole load there really uh, to help you. So you can explore those, and I think most okay. of them, well, all of them are free um then you've got okay. pronunciation exercises but that can get okay. a bit that can get a bit arduous really uh you know if you're starting off with uh if 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 you know if you can pin down where you have uh exercise uh pronunciation difficulties then you might want to work on something that but as i said my only recommendation really is the you know, reading and shadowing um, what is said. Um, so that you know, if you if you want to go and use uh, Engu Daily News, you can just choose any story, and uh, a okay. person here can help you um, with that. You can just say, "Can can you correct my pronunciation mm -hmm. or my reading, or can I shadow you?" I have uh, seen uh, and... videos on YouTube. Shadowing is uh, you have to speak parallelly with the speaker. An imitation, there is a gap, there is a pause uh, after speaker's no, sentence. Yes, that's right. That, yeah, that's right. So, but I'm saying if the teacher doesn't know what it means, they, they're going to be not worth spending time with. Because <laughs> some teachers here, they don't know what it means because they're not proper trained you know so you have to be careful who you go with make sure that they're you know got some good experience okay so i i don't really know what else to recommend really i'm at a loss other than to uh you know say well i personally think that you speak quite well <laughs> You should see, you know, or hear some of the people I talk to and who are doing their IELTS exams. Um, and, you know, I think, oh, dear, I, you know, they they might have to pace themselves. That's another thing is chunking really helps. If you pace yourself when you're speaking, uh, it helps you to speak more clearly. Oh, now I can hear you. It's really bad. It's, ne it's ne okay, never what do you usually think? this bad. I don't know why it's so bad today. It's been awful. Okay. Okay, I want to ask a question that after uh, listening to me, uh, what do you think, how long it will take me to get proper accent? 100% is not possible, but a proper accent like uh, not native speakers, but near about. Well, you can't really ask a teacher that. It's like uh, someone asking me, how long do you think I need to revise for my IELTS exam? I can't answer that question because it's down to the individual. It's how much work you want to put in. It's also up to you on on you know how conscious you are of how you sound. 
Uh, I can't measure those mm -hmm. things because everybody's different. So I can't really make an evaluation that's going to be accurate. Oh, well, it's going to be about six months or whatever like that. You know, I don't really, I can't do that. I have to be straight up. It's down to you. Um, it's the same with me, with my French. If I want to, how long is it going to take me to really learn the basics? Well, it, I have to put in the work. And uh, I, if I don't put in the work, then it's going to take a long time. If I, if I put the time aside and I make myself do it, then it's going to be much quicker. But uh, un unfortunately, yeah. even though I work from home, I know that work gets in the way and everything else that is demanding. So you have to really kind of find the time to practice. And it depends how motivated you are and, you know, how much you want to change. Um, that's, I think, the biggest, you know, aspect. You've got to, you've got to make sure that that is the, your driving force. Um, and I think you look yeah. quite motivated to me, and you look like quite a motivated, strong lady. So I think you're going to get the results that you want if you put in the time. And and just I would work out, you know, what is the best method for you? Like as I said, I think maybe listening to the pronunciation podcasts might be the fastest track, or you know, and a combination of that and reading with English sounding people british sounding people yeah uh, instead of reading nowadays i'm listening a lot because i need proper pronunciation after reading i'll not get pronunciation yes exactly listening has a big influence on us i know it does with me you know because i speak spanish and i i listened to learn you know i i taught right. myself spanish by speaking to all the locals. Okay, you take care. Stay okay, well. Okay, okay. Nice to meet you.